We've spent the past nine months driving our tiny home across Mexico. We've experienced the beautiful winter months in Baja and the hot dry season while crossing the mainland. Now we're on the tropical Gulf Coast and the rainy season is here, which brings along its own set of challenges. We're Haley and Jake, and this is our final episode exploring Veracruz. We're excited to have you join us. Good morning and welcome to Tlacotalpan. This is a Pueblo in Southern Veracruz and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We're starting our morning off with a wander through town, admiring all of the beautiful buildings here. We're on our way to an area of Veracruz called the Gold Coast. We read that the south part of Veracruz is the most beautiful part of the state. We're excited to go check it out, but we don't really know what we're going to find. Aquí hay. Guayaba? Sí. Okay. ¿Está bien? Ahí. Oh. Dale que la pruebe. Oh. It's not sweet. It almost feels kind of salty. We just drove two hours and arrived to our new campsite. We are on the Gold Coast and we met the owner of the campground. His name is Medicina. He gave us a quick little tour, showed us this brand new fruit. And uh, yeah, we're gonna stay here for the night. Hello. Hola. Dumbo. Hola. He's a good. <laughs> we just crossed two little tide pools to get to the ocean and here it is. Why they'll always be sand What are you doing? Look who was sitting outside the van. We have named him Robert. We just woke up to the sound of chickens clucking outside the window this morning. We're just going on a little stroll to the bathroom and there is the resident over here that looks pretty cool that I wanted to show you. 
firstly, there's all these little baby turkeys. But look at this guy over here. Look at the size of this turkey. Well, do strut the stuff. Yeah. Look how big I am. I didn't know they had blue faces. There are one, two, three, four, five, six chickens and one turkey in this tree. How's your morning going? Lovely. We're having a quiet morning. It's very humid and we're enjoying the coffee. There's two massive lizards in the tree right now. One there and one there. This campsite feels like it is very much off the beaten track. It is a campsite, however, it's also the backyard of a Mexican family home. So we are parked up in their backyard with their chickens running around. We're next to the river and uh, there's lots of wildlife here. It's awesome. We absolutely love spending time here. We decided we're gonna spend another night here. And uh, we were chatting with the owners earlier and they gave us some fish, so we're gonna have it for lunch. And I'm pretty sure they said that they caught the fish in the river, right here. I don't think I've ever eaten a full fish like this before. I have not. Still look at the eyeballs. It is smoking hot, so we're gonna jump in the river to cool off. Yes, there's a big one. Okay, yes. What's over here? Yeah, oh my god, it's more cloud, yeah. Funny how that works. <laughs> <laughs> you go first? No, you go first. <laughs> it's okay, Finley. You okay? <laughs> Finley, you're fine. It's fine. But it is really cool. <laughs> Finley, we're over here, bud. Oh my goodness. We were gone for two minutes. So long. I know. So long. up this morning to a tree falling on the van. Oh, <laughs> hi Dumbo. Good morning. Yep, whole tree. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Perfect. Wasn't expecting that. I'd say that was fairly lucky. Yeah. Look how close oh my it goodness. It was like an inch away. There's the branches there. That that big one would have been a problem. That would have got to the van for sure. Yeah. The cleanup team's here to help. Yeah. Look at this. Hey, <laughs> Mira lo que le cayó a mi casa. Mira, amor. Mira. We need to get a machete for the van. <laughs> Dice, mexicano más astuto. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> there you go, we can use the axe. I have a small one, I just don't know What a way to start the morning. Hey, there you go. La película de del machete. <laughs> Ahora sí. Oh, that's a big one. Do you enjoy using the axe? <laughs> You will come from us to Fort Russo camping on Canada, pero uh, es uh, demasiado fuego y no puedo uso. Yo, yo tengo ese para dos años. Uy, qué bueno, es bueno. You made really short work of that tree. That machete worked so fast. Our van is totally fine. That was so lucky. So lucky. <laughs> we totally lucked out. Our van is totally fine, but there was a uh, piece of wood probably two inches across, three inches away from the van. <laughs> so that stopped in a perfect spot and we got pretty lucky today. You have uh, cheese on the left side of your face. <laughs> We were sitting outside the van and our host Concha came over with a plate of tortillas with cheese on them and gave us lunch. It was so kind and they are absolutely delicious. Where's Finney's lunch? I want lunch, guys. Good morning. <laughs> the chickens. We had a massive storm last night. It was thundering and lightning for a couple hours and the lightning was lighting up the entire sky. It was like someone had a strobe light. It was pretty cool to watch. Tried to take a video of it. I don't know how it turned out. Today is our last morning here. We are slowly packing up and we are going to keep exploring the coast. Hey Finley, ready to go? Come on. It's time to go, bud. Up, up, up. Come on, up, up, up. Finley, bud, it's time to go. Come on, up, up, up. Come on, we're leaving. Let's go. <coughs> Finley, come. Come on. Finley. Bud. Excuse me. Do you like it here? Good boy. Up, up, up. Up to bed. Finley, up to bed. Go on, up to bed. Up, up, up. Good boy. Good boy. Adios! In Southern Veracruz, there is a large bioreserve called Los Taxlas, and we are just driving through it now. We're climbing up in elevation, and the views are beautiful. We're just driving through the town called Catamaco, which is located on the banks of a massive lake here. This lake. Lake Catamaco. Lake Catamaco. This lake has some islands in it that have monkeys. Some are native to Mexico, some were introduced by the university. We were going to do a boat tour out to see them, but it is pretty rainy today and it didn't quite work out yesterday. So we're gonna bypass it. We'll see them hopefully in future travels through Mexico, so we're not too bummed out about it. So Catamaco is just a stopping off point. We slept last night and we are going to keep moseying a little further inland 
We're heading to Santiago Tuxtla today, which has a massive Olmec head in their main plaza, which we're very much excited to see. I didn't even see her. We are in Santiago. Oh, I have a big stain on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Santiago de Tuxla, and we are stopped here because they have the world's largest Olmec head to going to go see. The Olmec were a pre-Hispanic civilization, and they were huge in the Veracruz area. It almost looks like concrete. I wonder what they carved it out of. Yeah. This Olmec head differs from most because it has its eyes closed and small nostrils and a different head piece. So they think it might be to represent a dead person. We were just making a super quick stop in this town to go see the Olmec head. And that was our last stop here in Southern Veracruz. Next up, we have quite a long drive to get to Oaxaca City up in the mountains. We are very excited to visit it and it is one of the spots we really wanted to see before we left. So we will see you guys next time. See you in Oaxaca. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to join our adventures and we'll see you in the next one.